Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Today, we're plunging right into the storm of royal drama that's rocking the world once again. It's like a soap opera, but oh, so much juicier. Buckle up, because we're diving headfirst into the latest Harry and Meghan bombshell, and trust me, it's a doozy. But before we move on to any further details, I would love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press the bell icon. Perfect. So let's get started. So you won't believe it, folks. The Sussexes are at it again. It seems like Meghan Markle is on a mission to shake things up. And this time she's aiming her sights at the world of classic literature. Hold on to your top hats because this is going to blow your minds. The dynamic duo is reportedly taking a swing at none other than Charles Dickens with their upcoming Netflix series inspired by the timeless masterpiece Great Expectations. Yes, you heard that right. But wait, there's more. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams has chimed in with his oh-so-controversial take on the situation. According to him, Meghan's decision to take on Dickens is like nothing short of a royal rebellion. He says it is one thing for Meghan to narrate Elephant for Disney, another to take on Dickens. Can you believe the audacity? Let's break it down. Meghan and Harry, fresh off their roller coaster ride through the realms of streaming services, are now venturing into the realm of classic literature. Their adaptation of Great Expectations is said to have a feminist twist, which, let's be honest, is quite the bold move. The classic tale has already seen its fair share of adaptations, with the likes of Olivia Colman gracing the screen this year. But Meghan and Harry don't seem to be shying away from the challenge. But hold on to your royal crowns. This isn't all sunshine and roses for the Sussexes. In fact, it seems like they've been facing quite a few bumps along the way. Their animated series, Pearl, got canned by Netflix, and it looks like Spotify won't exactly be thrilled with archetypes. And remember that documentary by Harry, Heart of Invictus? Yeah, that's supposedly on the horizon. But some are questioning why these high-profile projects haven't quite lived up to the expectations they set for themselves. And let's not forget about Harry's memoir, Spare. Oh boy. Richard Fitzwilliams didn't hold back on this one. He's calling out Harry's judgment, suggesting that he might have missed the mark with what he included in his tell-all. Ouch. But wait, there's a twist in the tale. Rumors are swirling that Meghan and Harry have their sights set on yet another adaptation. This time, Carly Fortune's Meet by the Lake. It's even rumored that they've snagged the rights to the novel. But you know what they say about rumors, right? So what do you think about this news, guys? As always, these are my controversial opinions, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royals. Bye for now.